Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply. This video is to bring you a closer look at the National Guard products, number SDG-2060. This is a satin chrome, a security door guard is what it is. This is a uh, increasingly more common, increasingly more popular type of uh, door guard or restrictive uh, lock on a door that you're going to see most commonly in hotel uh, suite doors, uh, entry doors for hotel rooms will have these all the time. And this sort of item replaces the traditional chain style door guard or the flip style door guard, a bit more modern of a design that you're going to see. And uh, first of all, let's go over what different finishes this is available in. This can be uh, ordered in oil rubbed bronze, polished chrome, obviously satin chrome, polished brass, uh, satin brass as well. And there are a couple of ancillary items that we'll get to in a moment that go uh, that may go along with these and be very appropriate. So first of all, how is this installed? Well, the bottom line is it's simply installed right onto the face of the frame. Okay, it'll be installed onto uh, the face of the frame. That uh, sweet entry door uh, is going to be in swinging. Obviously, mm -hmm. this will mount to the frame. And what happens is, from your perspective, the door sits in here and swings out this way. Well, when the user flips the privacy over, the door is sitting out here. Okay, so that will allow the door to open basically the thickness of the door, which is the dimension from here to here where the door will, will stop. A nice feature of the National Guard version of this is that it has an inset piece of um, r clear rubberized material that's held in there with some sort of uh, adhesive so that the door doesn't get marred over time. Okay. It's obviously not handed be able to install that on either hand door. Now let's get some dimensions. Take a look at this. So the width of the base they have is inch and a half. That's correct. The height, which I don't see that they're giving, is two and three quarter. An overall projection of this unit about two and three sixteenths. And that uh, is accurate based on what they're giving. Projection of the uh, privacy bar, they're measuring it from the center line of the, you know, the pivoting axis at about an inch and five eighths, and that certainly appears to be correct. And then the height of that, one and seven eighths. So studying this, you know, this is, this is the door in the, uh, you know, this is what you're going to see from the inside. And when you lock it at night, this is what you will see. Okay. So the question is, how far will the, will the door open? Well, not knowing the exact amount of inset that the door has, it's going to be you know less than an eighth of an inch from the face of the frame to the end of that to the privacy bar. It's about, about two inch. So realistically, if your door is inset just less than an eighth. This is going to open up the thickness of the door, assuming it's inch and three quarter. So you won't really see much through that amount of available space, um, but it is intended there to allow you know communication, I suppose. Now, a couple of ancillary items I had mentioned earlier. Then we're going to talk about the installation. Uh, first of all, National Guard offers an emergency tool for allowing hotel staff to be able to disable this. Okay, That's available. That part number is SDG-ET for emergency tool. Another ancillary item that they offer is the SDG-HO. And the HO is a nice little thing. What it is is a hold open rubber block. That hold open rubber block is going to Cleaning staff comes in, management comes in, door is opened, this is thrown out, 
the SDG-HO rubber block fits over this so that the door is now held ajar. Okay, That's the way that that's going to work. Very appropriate. Rather than leaving the door fully open, the door can be held open in such a way that doesn't damage uh, either the door or, uh, or the hardware itself. There is also a retrofit sticker that they offer, which is the SDG-DS. And that sticker states, for your comfort and safety, please use deadbolt. What they're saying is, and that sticker is not included with the original packaging. Um, I believe what they're attempting to say is, don't count on this being the only vehicle by which your door is being secured. This is, this is just a door guard providing that sort of you know, uh, additional security when, you're, when the room is occupied. Okay. So the function of this item is to prevent the door from opening, allowing guest or resident privacy when engaged. Disengage to operate the door normally. Basically, doors closed, push it flat, and then you're in. This cannot be designed to prop the door open, and that's important because if you were to open the door, throw that out, that's just the closing device on the door, assuming that it's a fire rated door, is going to just simply push that closed. Speaking of fire rating, this item is indeed fire rated. UL-10B up to 90 minute, UL-10C up to 90 minute, pardon me, up to three hour for both of those classifications. Now, moving on to the installation instructions, and they are certainly packaged with the material, okay? Uh, let's go over the installation instructions. Uh, and there is a link below this video to the installation instructions that you can review pre and post purchase. There is a template included, and let's get right to it. Determine the mounting height, considering a need for handicap compliance. If you're doing ADA compliant rooms, make sure that this is installed at the proper ADA height for that. Apply the mounting template sticker to the frame at the proper height. You can see here that you've got three holes that you're going to mark, center punch, and then drill 532nd of an inch pilot holes where indicated. Okay. Mount the door to the frame with the fasteners provided. They do include what appear to be number 10 by inch and a half flathead sheet metal screws. Verify your operation. Make sure that the door operates correctly. It's certainly a fire rated door. You can't have any hardware that would impede the proper operation. So what they're saying is the edge of the decal or the template is the edge against the frame towards the door. So you're basically going to peel this off and you're going to apply it to the face of the frame, really assuming that you're dealing with a hollow metal frame that has a flat two inch face. If you've got some sort of casing condition, um, keep in mind that you might have to notch that portion out to obtain a flat surface and a surface that's even and appropriate to mount this to. I've been in hotel rooms and I've seen that exact installation and you know, you might be at a historic hotel in a downtown any city and you're going to have material that will need to be worked with or worked around and having to notch the casing is typical. So you're going to attach this to that flat surface. The end with the red letters goes towards the frame and flush it off to the, to the end of the frame regardless of the hand. Okay. Close the door, retract the lip. The door should of course operate freely at that point. Okay. Uh, you can, of course, uh, purchase that DS, that SDG-DS sticker. Okay, When you're adding this uh, to uh, an existing installation, you might be changing over. I've had hotels buy scores of these because they're literally removing the old chain guards and putting on this more modern look sort of door guard. Now, the name uh, National Guard Products is synonymous with not really this ancillary piece of hardware. They're, they're known as a weather stripping company and it's very likely if you've come across the product with the National Guard name on it, it's because of weather stripping. But they get into some other stuff that they do very well and this door guard is one of them. In addition to that, they do very well uh, metal steel vision frames and steel louvers that you'll use in both wood and metal doors. And then of course, their line of weather stripping. There's a link below this video to the manufacturer's page where you can pull up the full line National Guard catalog. And if you have more than an occasional need for 
Weather Stripping, by all means familiarize yourself with their product catalog. If you have any questions on the National Guard SDG-2060, Satin Chrome Privacy Door Guard, or any other National Guard product, please feel free to reach out to us. Thank you.